Lesson 11, Adding Custom Part Numbers. In this lesson, we will add a new custom part number to the Part Catalog Database. The default catalog database that comes with AutoCAD Electrical has over 1 million part numbers in it, and more are being added with every release. Still, it is inevitable that you will need to enter your own custom part numbers. From the Project Manager, activate the NFPA Demo Project and open the drawing Demo 04. To add a new catalog number, first insert a symbol of the same category or family as the part number you are going to create, like a relay or a push button, or edit an existing symbol. We will edit the safety relay number 1, CR406, located on rung 406. When the Insert Edit Component dialog box appears, notice the Description 3 and Pin Values entries. Under Catalog Data, click Lookup. In the Catalog Browser, you are automatically placed into the CR Control Relays table. This is why you should start by inserting a component of the desired category type. When you select the Edit Catalog Database button, the Catalog Browser changes to the Edit Mode signified by the yellow background. Other columns are also displayed that do not appear in the normal selection mode, such as the user, web link, and pin list fields. A blank line is added automatically at the end of the list, ready for a new entry. Most of the fields are self-explanatory. The assembly code fields are for creating sub-assemblies of components. The user fields are reserved for your custom data. The text value field is used to add data to miscellaneous attributes on the symbol. The web link field is for entering a URL to a web page or a file. And the pin list fields are used to enter the values onto pins of the components and drive the real-time error checking for number of contacts. You can select in the blank row and manually add the necessary data. An easy way to enter a new part number is to copy an entry that is similar and paste it into the blank line, and then edit the values as needed. To show only some of the examples of how the catalog works, I'm going to copy the Allen Bradley P200 entry originally assigned to CR406 and make changes in the manufacturer catalog text value and coil pins fields. Note that changes are not made in the database unless you select the Accept Changes button. There is much more capability available when editing the Part Catalog database than we have time for in these Quick Start lessons. Look in the Help System for more details on the available fields and their uses. Now that we have added the new entry to the database, we will select it to assign the data to CR406. AutoCAD Electrical performs several error checks during this process. The first one is that the current item number is for the original part number and now needs to be updated for this new number. Notice the changes in the line 3 and coil pins fields, all driven by the catalog data. And since we changed the part number, AutoCAD Electrical also prompts us for how to manage any possible changes to the panel footprint and updates all links the relay has to other components in the project. This concludes Lesson 11, Adding Custom Part Numbers.